Hey guys, my name is Sarah and I'm a cellist in the new Downbeat Ensemble. Yeah, that's my cat Aura, who actually is my great grandmother's name as well. And today I'm going to be showing you her wonderful buttermilk biscuit recipe. It's delicious and I love bread. So here we go. So the first thing you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 450. So I'm just looking at the recipe here and it's actually a pretty short ingredient list. Um, I've already combined my dry ingredients together. I've sifted them together, which makes this whole process a lot easier. So you need some flour, salt, baking powder, and baking soda, which I have here in my bowl. So you'll notice the next ingredient on here is shortening. And I'm actually gonna be substituting coconut oil for this. Um, and anytime you use coconut oil as a substitute for butter or shortening, you want to use a little bit less than what it calls for here because coconut oil is extremely oily. So you don't actually need the same amount here. I would say probably a fourth of a cup of shortening instead of a third of a cup. So we'll be using a fourth of a cup of coconut oil. The last ingredient on our list is of course the buttermilk, which makes them buttermilk biscuits calls for three-fourths of a cup. So continue watching the video and I'll show you how everything turns out. By chunks of me You're a shark and I'm swimming My heart still thumbs as I bleed Alright, so this is what the dough should look like not super pretty but it feels great and I have some flour down just to prevent some sticking uh, I might have done a little too much there but so now I'm gonna roll this out and then I like to use a cutter to make little biscuits just because that's the way my grandmother taught me to do it um, but you can actually do it any way you want if you like bigger biscuits and I would recommend just forming it with your hands um, and the thing with this kind of dough is that you do not want to overwork it you want your biscuits to be nice and flaky so the less you touch it, I think the better the biscuits turn out. All right, so I finished uh, cutting my biscuits up. They're looking pretty. So as you can see, these six are the ones I used with the cutter. And then I took some of the scraps and tried my best to make them by hand. They look interesting. So we're gonna bake these for 12 minutes at 450. So I just pulled these babies out of the oven and I'm super proud of how they turned out. Um, as you can see, they're pretty tall, you know, look at all those layers in there. They just look so flaky and delicious. And I love that some of them look a little funky, like this one here has a lot of personality. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you can make this recipe at home for yourself.